Hi, this is Mrs. Outke Hill. Today we are going to build a no pin pinwheel or a paper windmill. So we need to talk about wind. When we think about wind, we often think about the wind outside in the weather and whether it makes us comfortable, warm, too warm, too cold. Um, it might affect things around us. It might even be devastating to buildings or crops. So wind is something that we think about outside a lot, but wind can also be helpful. And so wind can create movement. When we have something that moves, that movement can create energy and that energy can then be turned into something else. So if you think of a windmill up on the hill where the wind is making it turn around and around, that movement is going down into a gear that does something else. Maybe it's pumping water out of the ground, or maybe it's having something move. Sometimes people used wind to grind up grain and make flour. So it can, that movement can do something and help somebody that does a job for them. So we're going to create a windmill with paper today. The things that you're going to need, take those up there. The things you're going to need is a template. You'll need some scissors, a hole punch, and a bendy straw. And that's all you're going to need to make this happen. So let's clear our board a little bit and start with our template. So I'm only cutting on the dotted lines. If you wanted to cut next to the edge, that's fine, but I left mine just to make my pinwheel a little bit bigger. So I'm going to cut along the dotted lines, stopping at the center. I'm not going to cut out the center, only cutting on the dotted lines. All right, so we're done with the scissors. So now my windmill template looks like this. Let's get out the hole punch. I have a dot on the corner of each one of these flaps, but only one corner of them. I need to make a hole in that corner. Make sure that your hole does not touch any of the edges. So it doesn't have to be exactly over where the dot is, but make sure there's still paper on all sides of that hole. So there's not a hole here, it's over on this side. And there's not a hole on this flap, but it's here on this side. And one more over here. Ooh, that one got really close to the edge, didn't it? So make sure you have some paper there, I went a little too fast. Now the last hole is going to be a little tricky. You're gonna to have to bend this up and over, but I need one hole to be in the very, very middle. So in order to get this, do you see how it doesn't wanna go very well? Okay, I'm gonna teach you a little trick. I'm going to fold the paper exactly in half where the dot is. I don't have to fold the whole thing, just a little bit. So it's exactly where the dot is. And now I'm going to put my hole only halfway through the paper. So as you can see, it's not all the way on there. And now when I punch my hole, it'll open up and my hole will look like this. Okay, so I have five holes in my paper. The next thing that I need is my straw. I have a bendy straw. These seem to work the best because this keeps our windmill on the stick. So I'm going to cut just below the bendy part so that the bendy piece stays on the small section of the straw. The next thing I need to do is put a hole in one end of the longer piece of straw. Again, make sure that there's straw on both sides so that it doesn't fall off. There we go. So I have straw on this side, straw on this side. Now we're going to put everything together. 
So let's take our paper. I'm going to put the bendy part on the outside. So in order to do this the best is I'm going to fold in one of these flaps. And this becomes the outside of the pinwheel, so I'm gonna come up through the bottom. Now let's go to the next one. And this one goes this way, so it goes this way. You can see how I'm starting to, that's the one that I almost missed the paper for. You can see how important that is. Bend this up, poke it through. One more, bend this up, poke it through. And then the last hole goes through the center of the windmill. And I can push it all the way through so it looks like this. This is going to keep it from coming off. You can spread it out a little bit. And then the last piece goes through this hole. So the first time that you put these through, all the holes are going to be a little tight. The more your windmill turns, the looser the paper will get. There we go. Okay, so this one is pretty tight. And then that's going to keep it all on. You might need to change the size of it here, going back and forth. But your pinwheel turns this way. So if you blow on it, blowing on it in this direction, your pinwheel is going to move. And if you put it outside in the wind or in front of a fan, your pinwheel should turn around, creating movement which could create energy. How about that wind? <laughs>